Damages to agriculture and infrastructure brought by Typhoon Ulysses have reached 10 billion pesos, according to newly released estimates from the country's disaster management agency. Vincent Arboleda will tell us why live. Yes, uh, Vincent, good evening. William, several days after Typhoon Ulysses battered Luzon, the damage caused by Typhoon Ulysses has also risen. According to NDRRMC, the damage to agriculture in Luzon brought by Typhoon Ulysses has reached 4 billion pesos, while infrastructure damage has reached around 6.1 billion pesos. 201 road sections and 72 bridges have also been cleared and is now passable according to the NDRRMC. Casualties also remain at 73 dead, 24 injured, and 19 still missing. Meanwhile, the NDRMC also defended the move of the National Irrigation Administration in opening the spillway gates of Magat Dam. According to NDRMC spokesperson Peter Paul Galvez, NIA followed the protocol. This is really to prevent breakage of the, of the dam. They followed protocols and they were able to also uh, give ample issuance to the regional RDRMC. The NDRRMC also said that majority of the water that flows through the Cagayan River comes from other tributaries than Magat Dam. Majority of the water that is in the Cagayan River comes from the other tributaries. There are approximately 20 tributaries, 20 main tributaries, and Magat Dam is just 15% of that, of that entire uh, source of water in the Cagayan River. William, the opening of spillway gates of the Magat Dam is being thought to be one of the reasons for the intense flooding in Cagayan and Isabela. That's a latest live. Back to you, William. Thank you very much. Uh, Vincent Arboleda reporting live.